In Gambia, toiling the land is women's work. A shortage of water is a serious problem. In the village of Jitaba, the rice fields are getting drier every year, and drinking water is in short supply. We only have three open wells here in Jataba. Women have to stand in line. The wells are often empty whatever time of day we go there, and we have to wait for hours before they fill with water. The only fresh water we can have comes from a well that's one kilometer away. You can't drink the water here. It'll make you sick. She means this well. It's just an open hole in the ground and the water is usually dirty and riddled with bacteria. It's located behind the village, near the toilets. It's also a breeding ground for mosquitoes, which carry malaria. That's why so many locals have contracted the disease. Even though they've learned to filter the water they collect here through a cotton sieve, it's not enough. The water isn't clean, but often it's the only water I can give my children. I go and fetch it from the well, even though I know it makes them sick. That's why we urgently need clean water. The locals are increasingly desperate. Families here tend to be large. The more they farm the land, the faster groundwater levels sink. It's the same story all over Africa. Along the Atlantic coast, Gambia's fishermen have the opposite problem to deal with, rising water levels caused by climate change. Bit by bit, Gambia's coastline is being eroded by the ocean. Director of Water Resources in Gambia is Pa Uzman Jarju. He represents the country at various international climate conferences and wants to see more policies that improve environmental protection and combat global warming. What we need to do is to ensure that those who are responsible historically take the lead and all those countries that are also emitting should also contribute towards greenhouse gas reductions. Banjul, the capital of Gambia, was built half a meter below sea level. The rising Atlantic is threatening not only the city, but also freshwater reservoirs in the country's interiors. Pa Usman is doing what he can to prevent the worst. With the help of EU subsidies, he's having solar-powered water pumps installed all over the country. Solar is in abundance in our countries. So instead of using diesel generator, which is very expensive in terms of operating cost for the beneficiaries, we use solar pumping uh, systems to pump water because of the low water table to supply water to the communities. This is a solar-powered water pump. It's been installed in the village of Suduku, a day's journey from Banjul. While the women are working in the fields, the men explain how the new pumps have affected their lives. Solar gets its oil from the sun, which is provided by the Almighty. But for the gas well, you have to put your hand in your pocket and get gas well. If you don't have anything in your pocket, then that day will not, you'll not have water to drink. Yeah. One curious villager actually climbs up onto the cistern. Everyone's really excited. Be careful, says someone. You'll break it, says another. Everyone feels responsible for their new water system. After all, they're all contributing one to two euros a month for maintenance and repairs. This is the first and only water tap in the village. Now everyone can fetch clean water whenever they need it. It's an undreamt of luxury. The evening meal consists of rice and peanuts. It's cooked with clean water. 
Now that we have clean water, we don't fall sick so often, and there are fewer cases of diarrhea and skin rashes. We can also wash much better, and we don't need as much soap. Soap is expensive, so that helps us save money. Back in the village of Jitaba, the last section of the solar-powered pump is being put into place and the mood is celebratory. In just a few days, the women here will have all the clean water they need. We'll take good care of it properly, because we are really in need of this clean water. For more than 30 years, we are, real, we are crying for this clean water, we can't have it. So we have it this year, so we'll take good care of it. The first to drink from this well will go to heaven, sing the women. Who will be the first? One of the men volunteers, much to the hilarity of the local women.